What comes to mind when you think of cities? Hectic? Free subway music? Street art? History? <laughs> Even generous people? And places that open your mind, like Persephone Bookstore! So when my friend told me about the store, uh, it was special uh, in a way that it uh, sells mostly uh, books written by women authors and banned books, I had to visit it. There was an old time feel to the store. As you can see the posters, there were teapots, there were flowers, a little pink. On its website, the store defines itself as Persephone Books reprints neglected fiction and non-fiction by mid-century, mostly women writers. All of our 135 books are intelligent, thought-provoking, and beautifully written, and are chosen to appeal to busy people wanting titles that are neither too literary nor too commercial. We publish novels, short stories, diaries, memoirs, and cookery books. Each has an elegant gray jacket, a fabric and paper with matching bookmark, and a preface by writers such as Jilly Cooper, David Knatson, and Elaine Showalter. I hope I've said the names right. <laughs> but what I also loved about the store was that um, it, it had such unique decor. The moment you walked in, you, you felt like you were in an old space. And they have friendly staff, and I got to interview Sophie, who was working there at the time. Here she explains to us how she wraps and what is special about the wrapping paper. And then uh, they actually stick in a bookmark, which has some special information on the... Uh, it's from the jacket of the book. In uh, Bloomsbury, and I'm wrapping up one of our um, new books that we published this year, and it's in a replica of the Times article from 1918 about the trial that uh, was about this book when it was brought out. And because it's a gay conscientious objector, the character in the novel, it was banned for seeming to prevent young men from signing up. Um, to join the war, and so it was banned. So that's why we're wrapping it in the image of the in the Times article because it's exciting. It's a great story, and it looks like this with the pink ribbon. Come on. Okay, I'm going to stick the bookmark in the back, and these are the end papers as well from all the books. So this is a print from the year the book was first published. What year was that? And as often happens after you visit a bookstore, your mind just opens. And when you walk out, even in a city like London, everything just expands. Thank you, Persephone Bookstore. I just want to be clear, I don't work there, nobody's paying me to do this. I just thought the store was interesting and needed to be talked about. So. If you ever go there, if you're in London, check it out, and you like it, go home with a book.